Stand-up paddleboarding is the fastest growing paddle sport in the world right now because it's super fun. It gets you outside. You can get an incredible workout from it. Today we're here at Rutgers University studying the muscle activity in a stand-up paddleboarding forward stroke. We are now starting recording now. Right now what we are doing is something that has never done um, before actually. The system is actually the first one developed with a Wi-Fi technology to see in real time the muscle activity of uh, the athletes. The data that we are collecting, it's the first time it's been collected. So we're super excited about that. You attach with uh, standard pin electrodes, uh, the probe to the, to the skin, where you want to, uh, to analyze uh, the muscle. We get immediate feedback onto a computer screen and that can tell us exactly what's happening in the muscles at that moment. There's no standard certification or anything like that for paddleboarding yet. That's why they're doing the kind of thing they're doing now and um, putting together the research. As an academic institution, we want to be on the front line when that rolls out. We'll be able to use the data that we're collecting today to help everyone, whether you're a beginner, novice paddler, or an elite athlete. This data is just the beginning of the information that's going to help each person maximize the benefits they're getting from the sport. While I'm sure there are thousands of people that would love for there to be a major in stand-up paddleboarding, to my knowledge, there is not one yet at the university level. I went to Rutgers and got a BFA in dance. Mason Gross has an incredibly well-rounded dance curriculum. You study anatomy, kinesiology, dance history. It's the same approach that we're taking now to stand-up paddleboarding. What is the body actually doing? What is the best way for the body to move? How are the muscles working? It's taking science and applying it to what is a very artistic movement.